Welcome to Markitecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of leading technology vendors. I'm Mike Shields, and I'm here with Scott Young. He's the co-founder and CEO of Transmit. Hey, Scott, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us, Mike. Excited to talk to you. Same. So uh, let's start from the top with the big, hopefully easy question. What does your company do? We are a video monetization platform. We work with media operators and rights holders. We help them unlock new value for their OTT programming. And we do that in a variety of ways, but you know, the core puzzle piece that we are trying to solve for them is how do you really effectively exceed your monetization goals within your streaming media, live and pod programming while providing an enhanced viewer experience. So not detracting from the viewer experience. And we work with our partners to integrate us on the server side. They deploy our server side ad insertion solutions where we won, help them create new ad inventory that operates outside of your standard ad pod break and is not beholden or reliant on your standard signals that would trigger these ad breaks. And doing that in a meaningful way where we're not disrupting the viewer. Two, we provide more advanced data measurement and dynamic ad replacement of their ad pods, mid-roll and pre-roll breaks. And then three, we provide full content discovery solutions where we could help expand the reach of their programming to live audiences everywhere while their content is running. Almost think of that as a you know, live push notifications in video form that could also be sponsored. So we could get into that later. And then we provide an entire layer of data and automation throughout the stack, because really the most important thing for us is viewer experience and being able to identify the right moments to insert an ad. And then two, analyzing how effective those ad placements were and how the viewer retention rate is occurring after that. What kind of ads are we talking about here? Are these the ads we often see non-standard advertising that's kind of during live gameplay, like during a break in the action in the Premier League or in between golf shots, like that kind of thing? Or what, what should we, how do we picture what you're talking about here? Yeah, and we can show this in the demo later. But yeah, it's integration within the stream during what we would define as a lull in the action. So okay. we process real-time sports data, the same data providers that are powering the sports betting operators and feeding real-time data to then send us signals that would allow us to determine play-by-play -play events. So what's happening in every any given stream. We convert those signals working with our broadcaster partners, our media operator partners to define the experience. So when do you want to trigger these in content, in stream ad placements? You know, we look at that play-by-play -play information and then we decide, okay, here is this, this event just occurred. There was a free throw, hit the free throw, and now there's going to be a replay that takes place, which is a pattern in basketball, for example. Mm -hmm. And we would trigger that immediately following the actual action and then um, send, the, send the information up to the ad servers, process that, and deliver the ads within stream. We're talking about side-by-side -side double box ads, picture-in-picture, -picture, where you have a graphic template behind a video ad, video ads running while the viewer is still able to see their live streaming content in the left box. Uh, we do dynamic L bars in a squeeze back fashion, border frames and uh, graphic overlays. So do your customers, do they mostly use you for these special kind of innovative units like the, you know, the lulls in the action, the free, th you know, the double screen kind of stuff, or do you, do you can you ha handle all of their ad serving needs? Yeah. So in, in server side ad insertion, there really could be only one ad stitcher within the actual stream. Okay. So when we integrate with a partner, we are either replacing a legacy ad stitcher, the uh, server-side ad insertion partner that they were using to take over all the responsibilities of doing their ad pod replacement, mid-rolls and, and pre-rolls, in addition to the incremental inventory opportunities like those in-content ad insertions. So we're, we're managing everything. Okay. So could, could you maybe walk us through, you, you sign a new supply-side customer what does that path look like? Like who at the organization is using the product? How, what kind of integration is necessary? Is it, how challenging is it to switch out? What's the workflow like? Things like that. Yeah, and that's probably the most challenging part of our business is to manage that integration in terms of product prioritization at the broadcaster side. So where we typically start the conversation is on the revenue operations side of the media organization. The people that care about how they are going to deliver value to brand advertisers and how they are going to be able to increase their monetization potential within their streaming media content. So once we get buy-in on that side, 
then the conversation usually pushes into a product and technology conversation where we align with those teams on the best path towards integration. Sometimes they're, you know, it's not, let's do this, you know, from day one, let's replace everything. And we will be the SSAI provider managing across all your streaming programming. We might start in a clean environment where they have not tested this before. Do that there, prove it out, and then we expand across the greater library of their streaming content. Thanks for listening. To hear the complete interview, subscribe at architecture.tv.